Hi everybody, today let's look at the Demon Idol from Rocket Pig Games. I'll put the link down below. This is a 3D printer file that they've made available. I believe it's about $9, $10. And uh, the Dr. Faust has uh, done a, a major... Uh, major painting how he did how he did the paint job on uh, on this idol now uh, the 3d printer file makes it huge it's like three or four five uh, inches tall it's really big so what I did to, was I shrunk it down and printed it at 75 percent and that way it would uh, I'm gonna probably use I'm this is a bold and uh, ambitious project that I'm thinking about doing after I finish the Castle Ravenloft. I'm thinking about doing the Tomb of Horrors. But anyway, back to this. Um, back to this. I printed at 75%, so it's smaller. And here we go. Sorry, the light's kind of bad, but I also uh, for the eyes I got these uh, like they're they're kind of like rhin faceted rhinestones. Let me get it from the side, and then you see um, it looks like the gems that are in the idol. Now, um, Doctor Faust um, in his in his print thing, I'll put the link to that below as well. Um, he said that they kind of made it. It's recognizable as the demon that's on the cover of the A D and D. Uh, in the, on the AD and D player's guide, you know, where the, they have the painting on the cover and the guys uh, prying the prying the gemstone out of the eye, and uh, you know, the, it's it's close enough so people recognize it, but far enough away for um, it's far enough away for uh, you know to avoid copyright infringement, I guess. Uh, I like the I like the little hooves. And I kind of did a couple of modifications. I printed it, uh, or I printed up, as I said, at 75%, so it's smaller. Glued the uh, faceted gemstone eye bobs, and I like I like the grin. And I painted him. I primed him black, and then I painted him with um, I painted him with a uh, war. It's called Warren Penny. It's a one of those uh, I think American. Uh, Americana craft paint. But it was a craft paint, and it was a metallic uh, color that I used. I kind of want to make it look like uh, like it was made of copper. Uh, you can't really see it in um, in the in the video, but uh, it's it's the, the it's got a reddish hue to it. And uh, what I it the bowl another um, another adaptation I made was the bowl has a like a when when you print it up it has a flame in it. Um, you know, plastic flame that to me it kind of didn't look realistic. So what I did was I hollowed it out, and then I'm going to put a balloon light in there, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, just I'm I'm really pleased. Except the the only problem is a limitation of 3D printers is um, is that uh, you know there, there's lines, there's layer lines on that. Supposedly you can kind of you can file them down or. Or do something, but I, I just I just opted to leave it in just because um, just just cause. And then let's look at the back. Here's the back. Okay, and then you know the back's like the front. I just kind of I kind of wanted to paint the back unevenly, just uh, you know, just to kind of make it uh, kind of look organic. And I like the horns. Okay, and in a minute I'm gonna show you the uh, light that uh, that I'm planning to use. Okay, well here's the light. I put the light inside it. Uh, the light flashes. It's uh, what's called a balloon light, and you, pe you people can put them inside of balloons to make the balloons uh, lighted. And this one, um, this one, you know, it flashes different colors. And I'm thinking about putting some kind of like uh, using hamster bedding or something to kind of disguise how round it is, and then. Uh, It'll, uh, you know, it'll look more like flame. You know, this is just I, I kind of, you know, just saying, oh yeah, it's a, it's a magical orb that's in the, uh, that's in the little bowl and it's casting uh, different colored uh, lights, uh, you know, to show its eldritch, the eldritch magic to it. And uh, okay, I'll put the links below. And I'm, you know, thanks for watching. What do you think about this? Uh, do you think? Uh, you know, does anybody have any ideas on how to make the um, how to make the 3D print not so um, not so lined? I, I heard there's like a, this epoxy thing you can paint over it, but I also heard that it smells. 
and uh, you have to wear plastic gloves and everything. So, but anyway, um, you know, if you liked the video, give me a hearty thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye now.